Hey guys, and welcome back to Three Layers Deep. So this video is gonna be very different from my regular beauty videos. Obviously by the title, it has nothing to do with beauty at all. Um, a viewer asked if I can actually film this video. Um, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. I don't really know what I'm gonna say, but I hope that whatever I do say, uh, it helps you. In a, in, a, what, in, a, in a way, shape, or form. I just really hope that um, it's not in vain. You know, I I prayed to God for a while, and you know, for days, and I'm like, Lord, what do I tell her? She's your daughter. What do I tell her? So I just pray that the Holy Spirit just intercedes and speaks to you, into your spirit, and tells you exactly what it is that you need uh, to hear, okay? So, um, one thing I don't do, I don't give secular advice. I don't give worldly advice. Um, if anybody comes to me, like my personal friends and family members know that when they come to me for advice, they're gonna, the word is gonna be tied into it. So, uh, with you it's easy because you are, you are a sister, which that, that kind of, that, that kind of, <coughs> I don't know, that to me was kind of strange because you saying that you know you do have God that you are a Christian, uh, but then you struggle with self esteem or, or uh, you lack confidence. Um, that to me is kind of strange because if you know your God, if you know who you are in Christ, that should be all your confidence right there, honey. Okay, you should know that you were created for greatness. You should know that God created you for a specific task on this earth that only you can accomplish, that can only be done through you, the work of your hands, okay? Um, so for you to not know or to, to not have that confidence is really strange to me. I can understand from someone who doesn't know Christ, from someone who doesn't know the word, who doesn't have that, that relationship with God through Jesus Christ. I can get that, but as a sister in Christ, I don't understand, uh, but then again, I don't know what you've been through, okay? Uh, but just know that God wants you to walk with your head high. Um, the Bible says to not to, not to think of yourself highly than you should or than you ought to, but also don't think of yourself low either, you know what I mean? So know who you are, okay? Know where you stand through Christ, all right? But it's about having a healthy understanding and a healthy self-confidence that you can do all things through Jesus, Jesus Christ, all right? There's nothing on this earth that you cannot do, all right? So I don't know what it is that you're, that you're going through. I don't know what um, the reason why you're lacking self-confidence. I, I don't know if it's in your appearance um, or things that you want to accomplish, but that you're too scared to, um, I, I don't know if it's, I, I, honestly, I don't know, but you have to find your confidence in him. You have to get in that word. All right. You have to, um, <coughs> excuse me, find those scriptures that speak to you and start speaking them over your life. I know that a lot of our self-confidence issues stem from our childhood. I, I know because you know, I went through it. I had a rough childhood. I'm obviously not going to get in details into, you know, about my childhood on the internet, but I had my struggles and I could have potentially turned out to be a very different person. And I think I was heading that way until God caught me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Until Jesus Christ came into my life because I was heading down a really, really dark, dark, dark path. Um, but throughout all that, I still had this confidence about me. I knew, and I'm listen to me guys, I'm not trying to be conceited, that's not what I'm trying to be. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, puff myself up because that's not what I'm trying to do, but I am confident, okay? So if you uh, correlate that with conceitedness, I'm sorry, but I do have confidence. I know who I am. Um, I know that I was made for great things. I know that, you know, that there's something on this earth that I was created for. And that only I can do that, you know. Uh, but before meeting Christ, um, I still, there was a certain presence that I carried. And because I felt it, or because I had it, and I knew I had it, people around me felt it too, all right. Um, so you have to have that inside. 
you know and you how, you're asking well how do you find that how do you get that but what I did I made sure that you know my makeup was always done my hair that I looked nice um, that uh, you know the way I carried myself every single thing about me my you know my character all my little characteristics and the way I looked externally <coughs> I made sure they were always on point when you look in the mirror and you see something beautiful you're going to feel that when you look in the mirror you're like wow you know that eyeshadow look looks great you're gonna feel that you're gonna flaunt that you know subconsciously and the people around you are gonna feel that you know what I mean um, how do you get that you have to speak that to yourself you know what I mean you have to come into understanding that you are beautiful that you are great that uh, especially claiming Christ what kind of witness are you what kind of witnessing are you doing to other people when you yourself are not even confident you have to you have to also think about that you know you cannot be an effective uh, 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 witness to somebody else you can't give somebody else what you don't have all right so you have to first get it you have to first understand that for one, you cannot seek for the approval of others. You have to look for the approval. You have to seek the approval of God. You have to try to perfect yourself, quote unquote, perfect yourself because we are not perfect with humans, obviously. But strive for that perfection in Him. All right? In everything. In everything you do, how you do your hair, how you do your makeup, how you dress, how you act, how you speak, how you carry yourself, how you walk. Everything has to be for the glory of God. All right. Once you do that, you're gonna start feeling this empowerment. But it's not, it's not fleshly. It's godly. It's spiritually. You know what I mean? You're gonna feel it from your spirit. All right. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. All right. Get in front of that mirror and start speaking life. It doesn't matter what you went through when you were younger. It doesn't matter what your parents uh, told you or did not tell you. Okay, you cannot let that factor into your life right now. Or right? you're an adult. You are your own person. All right. Get, get one thing I do not like is negative people. All right. Um, I was a very negative <coughs> for many for for very long. All right. And I know that that just you're just planting seeds of destruction in your life. Um, whether is uh, mentally because. What are you doing? This is my little doggy. Um, so to be around negative people, I can't do it. Not after coming to Christ. Um, I mean, there's certain days that I still struggle with um, <coughs> being negative or not. But then I immediately try to cast those thoughts out because they can wreak havoc. Do not entertain any thoughts that you don't want to entertain about yourself. All right. Um, if you want to do that, that you've been wanting to do do it what's holding you back okay if you want to you know change your hair do it what's holding you back anything that you've been wanting to do that you haven't done up to this point um anything that you wanted to pursue that you haven't done until this point no one has held you back except yourself your very own thoughts have held you back from accomplishing what you want been wanting to accomplish from from looking the way you've been wanting to look listen I am so happy with myself right now I have always dressed nice but I I feel like I've always blended in with every other girl it wasn't until I finally decided you know what I'm gonna take a risk and I'm sorry my nose is itchy I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna start dressing outside of the box I'm going to put pieces together that I would have never thought about before. In the beginning, I was nervous. Yeah, because I was like, oh my gosh, you know, no one's used to seeing me dressed like this. What are they going to think? <coughs> but when I started putting these pieces together um, and I would put them on, I felt so confident. And I started feeling more like myself than I ever did. I'm more happier in my skin now than I've ever been before. Some people may like it, some people may not. But this is who I am now. You know, I might dress eccentric. I might wear tons of makeup. I might be, a, you know, I, I'm a loud talker and I'm a talker. Like, I can talk for days. 
Um, my mother used to call me a little parakeet when I was little because I would just talk her ear off. Talk, 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 talk. And, um, but this is who I am. And I know that all these little uh, quirks and characteristics of mine, God is going to use for his glory. So whatever things you see that are an imperfection of yours, they're really not. They're really not because God is going to use them for something. God is already using them for something. So stop being scared, okay? Stop thinking of yourself less than you should, okay? But then again, don't think of yourself highly or higher than you should, you know? Find yourself in Christ. Let him show you who you, know, who you are. The Bible is God's love letters to you, all right? So get into that word and start speaking life every day into your life. Look in the mirror and start speaking speaking the things that you want to accomplish, the things that you want to, uh, to, to, to materialize in your life. Speak them, all right? And the more these things start taking place, the more confidence you have, the more faith, you, the more your faith grows. Um, you know, if, if you are around negative people, cut them off. Cut them off, stay away from them, because let me tell you, misery loves company. Misery loves company. You want to hang out with people that you guys can feed off of each other. You guys can build each other up. You know, that when you guys come around each other, there's a surge of energy that is so beautiful. And that everywhere you go together, you guys bring forth the same energy. <coughs> you don't want to, you know, hang out with your fr with friends that suck the energy from you. You understand what I'm saying? So start changing your thoughts. Okay, start changing your atmosphere. Start changing the people that you hang out with. All right, and you're gonna start to see also like what you watch on TV, these reality shows. Oh, girl, mm -mm. the music that's being played. You have to be very careful what you listen to and what you watch uh, because all that plays a part in who you become and who you are. The reason why you think the way you think in the way the, you see the way that in the way that you see yourself now all right so once you start changing these things your your mind and your thoughts are going to start changing and your spirit is going to start changing you're going to be so much happier so <coughs> i guess all i can say is if you don't have that confidence get up and get it you know what i mean get up and get it and stop being um a victim and start being a conqueror you know, you are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. All right. But you need to get in that word and really start speaking his word over you. And things are going to start changing. I guarantee you. I, I am a very happy person now. I'm very content. Um, you know, I don't accept anything that I, into my life that I don't want to accept. I don't. I don't accept any sickness. I don't ac accept any poverty. I do not accept lack. I cast off those thoughts. The minute those the enemy tries to put those thoughts in my mind, I immediately cancel them out with the word of God and I start speaking it, not thinking it, but speaking it and standing my ground, knowing that I'm I'm serving a God who is mighty. <clears throat> I'm serving a God that owns this entire world. I am the daughter of a king. I have no lack. I have no needs. Alright? So once you start trusting in him for uh, your physical as well as your mental and as well as your spiritual you are going to be such a confident and faith filled person and you're going to put that out there and then people are going to uh, start to um, uh, start to see that they're going to uh, you know recognize that in you and they're going to start complimenting you and then those compliments again you know they, they, they feed that confidence they feed your faith and then you put it back out there and then they notice and then it's just a, a, it's just a, 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 an ongoing <coughs> beautiful cycle and um, so yes I've been very blessed to have the people around me that I have because I get that I get all that um, so yeah that is I guess that's all I can say I really hope it was of some help and if it wasn't I'm sorry but I just pray that you know maybe one little thing will stick or you know you caught revelation of you know on just one certain thing and um yeah so again thank you guys so much for watching honey I pray I will be praying for you and um I I know that that you're gonna find all this to be true and I know that you're gonna find yourself um, you know in, in that in the beauty of knowing that you know what I am the daughter of a king I am serving a God who has made me and created me in his image 
I am beautiful. I am confident. Oh, honey, there is nothing on this earth that I cannot accomplish and I cannot do. All right? Why? Because I am the daughter of a king. So, I will be praying for you. And thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. God bless you. Bye.